everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video, I guess an updated video on, I guess, what kind of clothes I am now wearing. So this one is going to be focused on like tank tops, t-shirts, things like that. Um, if you did see, I have a playlist called a uh, clothing mini series and I did a sort of mini series last year talking about clothes that I wear. And the reason I did that mini series is because a lot of us with chronic illnesses, people who are neurodivergent, we all have um, sort of these like sensory issues or sensitivities, or we have to accommodate our symptoms with the clothing that we wear. And so it can be challenging to find clothes that is um, accommodating or comfortable when it comes to our medical condition or whatever sensory issues we have. Um, you know, I've seen other people, other chronically ill people that stick to a very specific format of clothing, for example, leggings and large t-shirts and things like that. And a lot of it is because, you know, they don't like tight clothing or they have to accommodate different things. Some people have feeding tubes. Um, I actually used to have a catheter, um, a, a Hickman catheter coming out of here. So I used to wear t-shirts like this, crew neck shirts. A lot more. Um, I don't wear them as much anymore. Um, I do have uh, plenty of them still, but um, once I had the catheter taken out, I was like, yay, I can wear v-necks and tank tops and stuff again. But when I was out in public, um, crew neck t-shirts were the way to go. Um, so I did talk a lot about um, what fabrics and stuff I would use um, last year and what fabrics I tend to avoid. So one of the fabrics that I have started avoiding a lot is sort of that rayon um, uh, rayon spandex, or I think even modal spandex, because especially when it comes to t-shirts, because it stretches out a lot, especially if you hang it on a hanger. Um, it doesn't retain its shape very well, and it just tends to kind of fall apart very, uh, very quickly. So... I've been more focused on cotton, and um, I don't know if there are people out there that do have cotton allergies. Um, I imagine there are. I know that there are people that have modal allergies because modal is actually made from wood pulp or some kind of tree, some type of tree pulp. Um, and so there are people that are sensitive to these things. Obviously, if you're sensitive to it, you probably, if you're sensitive to natural fibers, you might want to go with synthetic fibers. I haven't noticed any major issues with either, but most of it is just wear and tear. And I do notice that rayon, rayon spandex, modal spandex fabric tends to wear out very quickly, stretches out a lot, um, and just doesn't retain its shape. I'm not someone that does a lot of strenuous stuff. Um, I might have mentioned that in my last, you know, my last videos on clothing, but I do, you know, I do some cooking, I do cleaning. And I do like my clothing. I don't want to have to be precious with my clothing. So I've noticed 100% cotton or, or clothing that is mostly cotton tends to take a beating better than other types of clothing. The issue with that, though, is that 100% cotton clothing can sometimes feel like burlap sack. Um, so there are certain brands that I've discovered that do make 100% cotton clothing or mostly cotton um, that is pretty comfortable and I'm wearing one of those brands right now and I have spoken about this brand numerous times already in my more recent videos and that brand is Airy. If you don't know what Airy is, it's American Eagle and it's sort of their loungewear brand. They make loungewear, athletic wear or athleisure um, and uh, underwear and bathing suits and um, I'm a big fan of their bathing suits. I've gotten a few of them this year and I really enjoy them. They're very comfortable. Um, and I've been discovering their t-shirts and their clothing um, a little bit more. I never really used to buy from them, but I did discover them. I've known about them for a long time, but I did discover them more at the swap meet. I've been buying their items at the swap meet, but um, have, you know, been purchasing their items in store. Um, because I've liked their stuff so much. So this is one shirt. Um, it's kind of like a, it has sort of this sort of like acid washed kind of look to it. And it has sort of like wear on the collar and on the sleeves. And it's just a 100% cotton t-shirt. Let me double check that. 
I'm pretty sure it is. It's so soft, 100% cotton, and it's very lightweight. And that's the one thing too that during the summer, um, I do wear a lot of tank tops. The only thing with um, tank tops is that my shoulders are exposed. And I do go for walks um, during the summer. I go typically more in the evening. But I also go out to swap meets. And as you know, most of my shopping has to be done outdoors because of my light sensitivity to fluorescent lights. So when it, when that happens, I prefer to wear, I do wear sunscreen, but I prefer to wear a t-shirt with sleeves. And so it's typically something like this. And this is very lightweight. It's lightweight enough that you can wear it in hot weather and not be so overheated. And that's kind of what I like about this material. Apart from it being super soft, it already looks kind of worn out. So if you do get it kind of stained or whatever, it kind of blends. I think I already have a couple of little marks up here. Um, and again, I don't have to be precious with the material because it's already it already looks kind of beat up. Um, so I have this one. I have another one of a similar style. It's like a light heather gray. has that same kind of, you know, distressing on the collar and on the sleeves. And this is just a light heather gray. Super soft. Um, I believe this is 100% cotton. And this one has like a little bit of a heavier feel, but not that much. Um, and their sizes do run a little bit big. So I think both of these are extra smalls. Yeah, this is 100% cotton. This one's an extra small and it still fits me a little bit oversized. Um, but again, this, the crew neck covers my chest so I don't get too much sun on my chest. These are perfect for the weekends when I go out to outdoor, um, do outdoor shopping. Um, I did discover also they have these and they ha they were selling them and they were on sale. They had a really, really good sale. I think they were as low as like 10 bucks or eight bucks if you get like, you know, if you ha they send you discounts and stuff, if you give them your email, um, Ari has really good sales and they'll send you discounts and things through email. Now this is a style, I actually had one of these that was very similar from Target. It's like a tank top, but it's long. It's longer in the back than in the front. Um, I had one of these from Target. I had it for years and years and years. I mean, I was re I was holding on to that thing for dear life because I was not able to find this specific style of tank top anywhere. And I had been looking at the swap meet, you know, it's not, I don't think it's like very in style or it's not like a trendy style, um, but it's a style I prefer when I go for my walks. Um, because it's long, it covers my butt. Um, I do wear like bicycle shorts or leggings when I go for my walks. And I prefer to have like my butt, you know, kind of covered. Um, I, I don't, I'm just very weird <laughs> about having tight clothes and just being so overexposed. Um, so I usually wear this over and it covers my butt and I can actually make a little knot in the front and tie it in the front. You could do a lot with this. Again, this is 100% cotton, super, super, super soft. Has that sort of worn look. Sorry, my hair has been falling out like crazy and it's all over my clothes. Super, super soft. And like I said, I had been looking for this style forever and just recently found it on Aerie and I bought four of these. They have, I think, six colors. I bought four of them. Trust me when I say I am very tempted to buy those last two colors because, again, I had gotten one very similar to this and actually the same color at Target. I was never able to find them again. And this is perfectly oversized. This one is an extra, extra small. I'm typically an extra small. It still fits me oversized. And that's kind of what I like, that it's not tight or it's not short because I need it to cover my butt. Um, I love it. It has those little frayed edges. Again, it's not something that you have to be very precious about. It does seem to hold on to stains, like grease stains a bit. But again, these are not, you know, I'm not going out, you know, um, I'm not going out to a special occasion with this. Um, and it just already has that kind of worn look, super soft, 100% cotton. I think it might even be recycled cotton. So it's 40% uh, cotton, 40% polyester, and 20% recycled cotton. So it's mostly cotton. Um, you don't have to worry about drying these in the dryer because um, even if they shrink a little bit, they tend to kind of loosen up anyways and go back. I haven't noticed major shrinkage with these, by the way. And I was really, I was actually kind of hoping that they would shrink a little bit. And I didn't notice any major shrinkage. Again, you don't have to be precious with these. You can wash them. You can dry them. 
I love them. And I'm going to be holding on to these. Like I said, I really probably should buy the last two colors that I didn't get because um, for whatever reason, it's a very difficult style to find. Um, and it goes perfectly over my sports bra and my leggings. Um, I've been, even just been wearing them around the house with a pair of shorts. Like I said, I just tie a knot in the front. Um, I love them. I really, really like those tank tops. So check out Area. I'm pretty sure they're still um, on sale there. They had a lot. It seemed like they weren't even um, like running out because usually you'll see their stuff go very, very quickly. And it still seemed like they were in stock. Um, now, as far as tank tops, you guys heard me talk about this brand in the underwear video. And I haven't tried these. I have tried them on. I have several of them because, like I said, I discovered this brand at the swap meet. I have not worn them yet. Um, and as I've said before, I am very weird about tight clothing. This is like basically a cami tank top. This is a heather gray one. And it's by Tommy John. And what I like is that it has the adjustable straps, skinny, soft straps. They are adjustable. They are convertible. So if you have issues with them falling off your shoulders, you can just clip it in the back and it converts it into a racer back. By the way, I'm not sponsored by any of these brands. I wish I was, but um, my channel's not even monetized. Um, what I like about the fit of this is that it's fitted in the chest but it's not tight on my thoracic area. Granted, I have not worn it for a full day. Um, again, I haven't worn it because when I go out to the swap meet, it's going to definitely expose my shoulders, my chest, and my back. Um, but I was thinking of using these for sleep because I think that's what they're intended for, either for sleep or for wearing underneath your clothes. Um, they're very thin, very cool. Um, they are Pima cotton, which I've heard that Pima cotton is like very durable, um, but very thin and cool. And like I said, they're tight on my chest, loose on my thoracic area. This is the extra small. Um, and I really, I really need to try these out. They do seem comfortable. Like I said, they don't seem tight, even though they are supposed to be fitted. Um, but I definitely want to wear these for sleep. Um, although they're nice enough to wear out. Um, but I just wanted to kind of give a shout out in case you are looking for cami tank tops um, and you've been having a hard time trying to find them. They're, these are very expensive. This one runs, I think, like 28 bucks or something. Um, this one doesn't have a price on it. It does have tags, though. But I, I liked that they are thin because in this heat, um, by the way, it, I do get night sweats. Um like with PMS and stuff like that. And when I feel this, I'm like, this would be perfect for that because it's so thin. Um, I could probably take it off and it'll dry or it'll dry on its own. And I have the matching underwear to, to these tank tops because they come with matching underwear and the matching underwear is also very lightweight, very thin, um, very cool. I have no major issues with the underwear. So I'm I really should try it and give an honest review of these uh, tank tops, but I just wanted to kind of give them a shout out because um, they do seem like something that would be good for someone that has some kind of special, you know, if you, if you run very hot or like I said, if you kind of need the convertible straps because it falls off your shoulders or if you're very thin like me. Um, they also have this. I've only gotten one of these. I've only been able to find one because, like I said, I have found these at the swap meet. It's a very expensive brand. Um, I have found these at the swap meet, and so I'm trying them out. Like I said, I've been very impressed with the underwear so far. Um, but this is, they actually have shirts, camis, um, pajamas. I do have pajama pants or loungewear, I guess, um, and the shorts. But the t-shirt, I found a v-neck, a white v-neck t-shirt in extra small um, because, again, they do run a little bit large. And I did have it on yesterday. I think I had a dentist appointment yesterday. And um, it works. It's super soft. I got to tell you, this thing is buttery, buttery, buttery soft. It is, again, Pima cotton. It is modal and spandex. And I love cotton modal um, fabric. But like I said, modal and spandex or rayon and spandex, I think modal and rayon are similar or they're the same thing, just different names. When you have that and spandex, 
um, just by itself, it can really, um, it's, it's not a very durable material. I think when you throw cotton in there with it, it tends to be a little bit more durable and a little bit, um, a little bit heavier as well. And it feels a little bit better, but this one, I actually, I was very comfortable in it yesterday. Um, it is, like I said, incredibly soft. I mean, buttery soft. Modal cotton is very, very soft. Um, but this one, yeah, it's soft. It does have stretch, but I found that I have no major issues with it. Like I said, runs a little bit big, but um, obviously white is going to stain like crazy, but um, that's really what they had there. Um, as far as anything else, I do have another t-shirt here that um, I bought at the Swami. It's a Levi's t-shirt, and I think this one is organic. I think this is like a sustainably made one. Um, but Levi's cotton tends to be very stiff. I'm trying to see here because I'm pretty sure it's 100% cotton. It's 100% cotton, yeah. But I believe it's like sustainably sourced. And this is a, it's like a heather cream or off-white type of color. Now this thing kind of feels like armor. It doesn't feel like burlap sack. It's not rough, but it is very sturdy. So if you're someone that wants... Um, a sturdy t-shirt, um, but that's not rough. This would probably be the way to go. This is a Levi's, it's a crew neck t-shirt. Um, I do feel like these can be more restricting. Like I said, it's a bit of a harder cotton. They can be more restricting. They can be um, less, for example, like this is buttery and drapey and, and just kind of flows. This one doesn't flow as much, but it's tough. And I feel like this shirt is going to last, you know, forever. Um, but I liked it. I liked the color. I liked the fit. Um, and it just felt very sturdy. It definitely would protect me from the sun. It's not thin. Um, and it's a little bit heavier. Probably this would be like a fall, winter type of t-shirt. If you live in California, this would be perfect, like fall and winter, because it's not super lightweight, but it's not... Um, super heavy either that you're going to be, you know, because it doesn't get super cold out here. So that's, those are tops and tank tops that I have. Um, like I said, check out Airy. Airy has a lot of good stuff. Um, they have really good sales. I've been pretty impressed with them so far. Um, and so I would recommend their stuff, especially if you're looking for comfortable clothing that is not going to bother you. Um, so that's what I have for you guys today as far as tanks, t-shirts, and tops. I will add this to my clothing mini-series playlist. That way you guys can just go somewhere to one place and look at all those videos. Um, but stay tuned. I will try to come back with more videos. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.